So in this video, we are going to learn how to send links from Google Sheets to Discord as Bitly short link. Now suppose guys, you are adding some kind of data into your Google Sheet and in that data, you are also adding some kind of long links, long URLs. And you want to shorten those URLs using Bitly and send those URLs and content from the Google Sheet as a message on your Discord channel. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever we are going to add a new row of data in Google Sheet, automatically the links which we are going to add in Google Sheet will be shortened by Bitly and then automatically the same shortened link will be sent as a message on our Discord channel. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on our public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to bit.ly to Discord. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is in my Google Sheet, let's take an example that I'm a social media manager. And in my Google Sheet, I'm adding the details of all of my social media posts. Like I'm adding a date, a message, and the post link. And here guys, I want that whatever post link I'm adding over here, I want to share the same message with the post link on my Discord channel as a channel message. And using Bitly, I want to shorten the link of the post or any of the social media platforms. So here in this automation, in the Google Sheet, I'll just add a date, the message which I want to send on my Discord channel to update my community, for any of my social media posts. And also I'm going to add the post link. Then using this automation and Bitly, we are going to shorten the link and then automatically the same message and the Bitly shortened link will be shared as a message on our Discord channel. So let's see how it is done. Now here guys, the first step is to get the new post details, new details from Google Sheet, the links from Google Sheet inside Public Connect. And to make this happen, here in trigger window in Choose App, we are going to search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, here in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting this trigger event, here you can see that Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now, using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect. So, what we have to do, we just have to follow the help text given below over here to add this webhook URL into our Google Sheet and connect it with Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to the Google Sheet which we have created where we are adding the post link. Now after coming to a Google Sheet, go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pavli Connect webhooks. Now as you can see, Pavli Connect webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. You just have to install this same add-on into your own Google Sheet account and after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheet once. This is a very important step. Now after refreshing your Google Sheet, once again go to extensions and then you can see Pavli Connect webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on initial setup. After clicking on initial setup, this box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us three different things. First one is the selected sheet. That the details or the data from which sheet we want to send to Public Connect. So right now in this Google Sheet, I have only one sheet named as Sheet 1. So that is why by default, we have selected Sheet 1 over here. Then it is asking us for the webhook URL. That to which webhook URL we want to send these details. So here in Public Connect's trigger window, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. We will just copy this webhook URL from here and then paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the trigger column. Now here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So the trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. 
Now suppose, in ex for example, in this background, you can see right now, we have three different columns in our Google Sheet. And column C is going to be my trigger column because it is the last data entry column in which any of my data exists. After column C, in any of the column, none of my data does not exist. So here we have selected column C as the trigger column. And then just click on send test. Now when we click on send test, the details of the very first row after the headers is been sent as a test response to Pavli Connect. So let's check it. We will go to Pavli Connect. And yes, here in this trigger window, you can see that we have received some response. And in this trigger response, you can see the details of the same first row. You can see the same date, the same message which we have added in the Google Sheet, and the same post link of a YouTube video which we have added in our Google Sheet. So here guys, the details for our new post or new link or URLs from Google Sheet is been sent to Pavli Connect. Now after this, just click on this submit button over here. And after submitting it, it is showing us setup configured successfully. So just close this window. One second, go to extensions, Pavli Connect Webworks, and this time we have to select this send on event button. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add-on that whenever a data in a new row is added into the Google Sheet, immediately send that data to Pavli Connect. So here guys, in this video, I just took an example of social media post updates. But actually, you can use this automation for any kind of usage, any kind of requirement of your choice. You just have to enter this post link into your Google Sheet with any kind of data. And then this post link, these details will be sent to Pavli Connect. So whatever data you are going to add in this Google Sheet, the same details of the complete row with the link will be sent to Pavli Connect. And using Pavli Connect in this automation, we are going to send this link which we have received from Google Sheet to Bitly in the next step. And we are going to shorten that link. So here, as I told you, you can use this automation for any kind of use case, any kind of requirement of your choice to shorten the links from Google Sheet and send it to Discord. So here we have successfully completed the step one of setting up this automation. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, whatever link, whatever URL we have received from Google Sheet, we have to shorten this URL using Bitly. So to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Bitly. Just select it. After selecting Bitly, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as shorten link and then just click on connect. So, here guys, we have to connect our Bitly account with Pavli Connect. Select add new connection over here and click on connect with Bitly. Now, guys, because I have already logged into my Bitly account in my browser, here Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on allow over here and then we will see our Bitly account will get connected with Pavli Connect. So after making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the group. So in which group in our Bitly account, we want to basically using which group we want to shorten the link. So right now in my Bitly account, I have only one group named as this. So that's why I've selected this group over here. And then it is asking us for the long URL to whom we want to shorten using Bitly. So from Google Sheets, we have received this long URL and we want to shorten this URL using Bitly. So guys, we are going to map this particular link over here, which we have received from Google Sheet in this long URL field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new row, which we have received from Google Sheet. And out of all of these responses, select the response of link, the URL, which we want to shorten and it will be mapped over here. So whatever link we are going to enter in this column C in the Google Sheet, the same link will be shortened by Bitly and the shortened link we are going to send to Discord. After mapping the long URL, just click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the long link which we have mapped over here is being shortened by Bitly. And in this response, in this response called as link, you can see the shortened link for the same long URL. So we are going to paste the shortened link in a new tab. And here we will see the same video, the same video with whose link we have added in the Google Sheet is open in front of us. So this was the long video link. And then this is the short link for the same video. So the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. We have successfully shortened the link using Bitly as well. 
Now, and let's move to the final step and send this shortened link, which we have received from Bitly to Discord channel as a channel message. Just scroll down, click on this add action step button, and then here in choose app, search for Discord. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send channel message HTML, and then just click on connect. After clicking on connect, the first thing it asks us is the webhook URL. Now to connect our Discord channel or Discord server with public connect, first we have to generate a webhook URL for our Discord channel on which we want to send the message on our Discord server. And then we have to add that same webhook URL over here in this field. Now you must be thinking how you can create this webhook URL. So to create it, just go to your Discord server and this is the channel new post in which I want to send the messages of the shortened link. So here guys, after reaching to your server, click on this down arrow and go to server settings. After coming to the server settings page, go to integrations and then go to webhooks. After coming to this webhooks page, click on new webhook and a new webhook has been added by Discord. Now after this, here let's rename this webhook as, for example, bit.ly. This is the name of the webhook. And then we have to select the channel that using this webhook URL, the messages which we are going to receive on which particular Discord channel we want to send those messages. So we want to send the messages on this channel named as new post. So select that channel over here. Then just click on this copy webhook URL, copy the webhook URL and click on save changes. So just now we have created a webhook URL in Discord and we have copied that webhook URL from here. Now go back to Pavli Connect and paste this webhook URL over here in this webhook URL section. After adding the webhook URL, the next thing it asks us is the message. That what is the message which we want to send on our Discord channel. So here guys, I want to add the message. So in our Google Sheet, we have also added the message which we want to send with the bit.ly shortened link of this post. So here guys, we have to map that same message. So from the drop down, from Google Sheet responses, map the response of message. Then to go into a new line, we are going to use this VR tag. Now, because we have selected the action event as send channel message HTML, to go to a new line, we are going to add the BR tag. So here I'm adding a gap of two line and then we are going to enter the link. So here I have added the field of link and from the drop down from bitly responses of a shortened link, map the response of link, the bitly shortened link over here. So this is the kind of message I want to send every time I add the new row of data over here in Google Sheet. After this, it is asking us for the bot name. Like a bot is going to share this message on our Discord channel. So here guys, it is asking us what will be the name of the bot. So you can give any name of your choice. Right now, I'm going to name the bot as Pavli. Also, you can actually change the bot icon too. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the bot icon over here, and the same image will be added as the bot icon who is going to share the message on our Discord channel. Right now, I'm just ignoring this field for bot icon. It is not a mandatory field, not a required field. So I'm just ignoring it for now. At last, it is asking us text to speech. Like if you want to enable the text to speech, select enable. Right now, I don't want to enable text to speech. So I'm selecting disable over here. And then I'll just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that this message which we have created has been sent on our Discord channel. So let's check it. We will go to our Discord channel. And yes, guys, here you can see that on our Discord channel, a message has been sent by the bot named as Pavli. Same bot name which we have given over here. And then here you can see the message as, Hello everyone, we have just now shared a new video on YouTube. The same message which we have entered in our Google Sheet. And also you can see the same short link of the same video, the same post which we have added in our Google Sheet. But this link is the bitly shortened link. When we will click on this link, you can see that the same post, the same uh, video or the same URL opens up which we have added in our Google Sheet. Now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever we are going to add the details of a new link in our Google Sheet row, automatically using Bitly, we are going to shorten this link and then share this link as a message on our Discord channel. Now guys, after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation once in real time. So in our Google Sheet, we are going to add a new row of data with a link. 
and we will see that link will be instantly shared with a bitly shortened link as a message on our discord channel so let's add some details let's add the same date over here and then let me add a message so i want my message to be hello we have just shared a new post on facebook this is the message which i want to send and here guys this is the link so here we have added this long link over here and then when we will add this long link in a new tab open it in a new tab you can see this is the link of a facebook post over here and we will see that as we add this new link in our google sheet new long link with the post message automatically instantly the same link with the same message will be shared on our discord channel and here it is and on our discord channel you can see we have this short link when we will open the short link you can see the exact same facebook post will open up in front of us this is the short link post and this is the actual post this is the exact same post now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine and using this automation whenever we are going to add a new link in our google sheet automatically we will generate a shorten link using bitly and we will share that shorten link on our discord channel as a channel message so not just these applications you can connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free also let me tell you pavli connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own pavli connect account if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day